Hey guys, hope you had a good Christmas and New Year. So I haven't made a video in a while or really posted on social media in general a lot recently. And um, there's a few reasons for that. The first is a good one. I had a couple of commissions come at the same time. So I kind of just dropped everything to work on those because I wanted to do a good job. But I also had a few early shifts. I had to start at 4 a.m. for work coming up to Christmas and just like other stuff. But I think the main reason is that I went through a breakup recently about a week before Christmas so I just kind of I gave myself a bit of a break I decided not to push myself to really work hard on anything so this sketch that um, I'm showing you is kind of the process it's not a polished piece or anything I just kind of wanted to really just express how I was feeling at the time so I painted this like a couple of days after it happened I think painting this was actually really helpful to kind of relieve stress and get everything out like it's so important not to bottle up your feelings like have some kind of outlet whether it's like sports exercise painting writing or even just talking to people like i have i have like, friends that i've talked to and family and stuff but it's kind of different to just express yourself in like a different format like with painting now i don't want to go on too much about this because i know like strangers don't really want to hear about your breakup sort of story but I kind of have to talk about it to talk about this painting so if you don't want to listen to it fair enough just mute it. So for the painting I went with a pretty obvious metaphor of like the blow to the chest just being blown like off your feet backwards I hope that actually comes across as actually being thrown backwards and not just floating around with a spear in your chest. <laughs> I did think about having the blow come from behind and just kind of having like this like, explosion out from the front of the chest but I decided to have her facing it just to kind of show that I knew something wasn't right in the relationship like something had felt wrong for a while but I wasn't really sure what it was. Things just felt different, they felt off. And I went with the kind of contrast with the colours to kind of show the shock of it. I went with the greys and blues to kind of show that it was like a quite a dark time. I wanted there to be a contrast with the figure in the background but there wasn't as much as I wanted really. Um, I made the hair kind of being flowing forward to cover like her eyes and this was partly to kind of add to the effect of her flying backwards but also just to show that I really didn't know what was coming. It was all very sudden and also like I know He's probably never gonna see this video. I still don't want to talk shit about him because he is a decent guy, but I'll be honest, he was a terrible communicator. I, if there was something wrong with him, I would have no idea what it was. Like, like you know when someone's just in a mood, like dark cloud of their head, and you know something's wrong, but they just will not tell you? I don't know if that's a guy thing or what, but it sucks so much. It really upsets you when you're constantly wondering what is going on, what are they thinking, are they upset with you, has something bad happened, and he would like constantly insist nothing was wrong, and it would turn out that there was definitely something bothering him, and then it would, I'd have to drag it out of him, and it, if, if it came out at all, like, there were so, so many instances that I don't know, I still don't know what's happened, and I think that's why like when we broke up, I thought there was more to it than what he let on, because he had this history of not letting things on. Like, even though I kind of officially like ended it with the trigger, it was him that said that he wasn't sure what he wanted, whether he wanted to be with me, and he said that his feelings had just changed, which I kind of found hard to believe, because literally a few days before that, he'd made plans to come away for the weekend, stuff like that. And it makes you a little bit crazy, like you just, crazy thoughts run through your head, like, oh, is he cheating on me? Is he gay? Did he never love me is this whole like goofy nice guy thing and act but yeah I, I just i just couldn't be that girl that just waited around for a guy that chased after a guy i just couldn't do that to myself but despite all that stuff i think i'm actually in a pretty good place like compared to my last big breakup i am so much better emotionally i think i came out of it with you know a decent amount of dignity my confidence is surprisingly high. I mean, you have to be incredibly emotionally stable and confident for a breakup to not affect your confidence at all. But I just kind of have to think about it like, 
it's his loss. Like I, I know I was a good girlfriend. I know I'm a loyal and caring person. I know I have a lot to offer, and I've got to keep that in mind. And not everyone will appreciate you, even if you are this great person. No, people won't always appreciate that. And you just got to think that is their problem. That has nothing to do with me. That's all them, and that's their loss. So um, yeah, I think that's all I have to say. I'm gonna stop rambling now, but um, yeah, painting this was really helpful, it was really um, therapeutic for me. I hope you enjoyed watching it, and um, yeah, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys later, bye!